I always had a dream that I will do something different outside the box than any ordinary girl. So usually in the field to be a teacher, to be a nurse or to be a doctor, and I wanted to be an engineer. I love what NASA does and creativity and innovation that we do here in the agency. That's why I joined the team. Hello, my name is Tahani and I work at NASA and here is my story. I'm originally from Egypt. I was the only uh, little girl that can ride a bike. I always get my hands a little bit in uh, toys and taking things and fixing them when I was little. Even my dad was trying to fix his car and I was the only girl around him trying to help him fix the car, taking it apart to put it together. So I liked engineering, uh, how, to, how things work and how to fix things. And that's why I said I'm gonna be an engineer one day. After I finish, my uh, bachelor degree in mechanical engineering. Since I was at Lenny anyway, so I printed my resume, walked door to door in every supervisor at the center, and I said, you have a job for me. And of course, you have the first 10 clothes on your face, and one was open. NASA was um, uh, not the highest salary, but I picked NASA. I was pretty excited, you know, my. You know, my eyes was glowing, and I think I can even reach the moon if I wanted to, working for NASA. You cannot get anywhere without a lot of people caring about you, a lot of people see your passion, understand you, and help you out. I had great mentor, not formal mentors, it's like a colleague. One of my best mentor was a technician that I worked with them, Dr. Bruce Holmes. He was the one who said, okay, you wanna figure things out? Here it is do it you know so it doesn't give you any guidance it doesn't give you any direction it leave your imagination be able to figure it out at this point of time I think I have about seven uh, students from high school and college that I mentor directly and direct and some of them went to grad school and they actually work for us so it's really a rewarding a closed loop kind of things that you, one person started and you see that domino effect. It is important. It is important to give back. It is important to be able to reach, you know, uh, stretch your hand and take somebody else and carry you over. And it's really amazing to see that. Americans are not known to be selfish, so we always help others. If you say, what's your uh, footsteps, your legacy? It is not you define that. It's a people after you define that for you. You just, as a human being, you just do what's right. What your value system teach you what's right and what's wrong and what's lawful and unlawful. And then you, you guide yourself by that internal conscious that will really help you to do, to find the thing. And therefore, that will be your own legacy, your own peace and tranquility within yourself. The quiet person, the person who make a difference in other human beings' life, I think that's a legacy. I would like to thank uh, NASA uh, for giving me this opportunity to be a woman at NASA and everybody can reach their goal if they work hard and believe in themselves.